I think some people would be a little taken aback by this dish. It is a sandwich of spleen. What I'm talking about is the Vestetta at Ferdinando's Focaccia in Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn. It's a spleen sandwich that's one of the best things I've ever eaten. As far as the function of a spleen in a cow, I'm not sure what it does. But whatever it does, it makes this sandwich delicious. Fernando's Focacceria is a traditional Sicilian restaurant, and the gentleman who owns it now, Francesco, is an old world guy, and he just knows how to do things in an old world style. And it's one of those places that everybody goes to, but nobody talks about. So I might get in trouble for this. This is the only place, I mean, in the United States, they still make the spleen sandwich with the old traditional recipe. So Francesco starts with the spleen, and he boils it for about an hour. Then we let it dry until it finishes drip all the water. And then it's left to set inside like a wine cooler for 10 days and age and develop a little bit more flavor. And then that's the way where you slice, you see? You gotta go very thin. And I'll saute it in pork lard. A little salt, put a little pepper, and then it's ready to make a sandwich. He serves it on this great Sicilian-style bread with fresh ricotta and pecorino romano cheese. That's it. You just eat it in all its glory. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's beautiful. When you take that first bite, I mean, you're getting slapped by the flavor of this spleen. A spleen spanking, if you will. It's really deep, big flavors. This is awesome. It just tastes Italian. Then you get the buttery, soft bread. Mm. And then the smooth, rich ricotta is a follow-up. It's perfect. I hope there's a second one of these around here somewhere. Apparently, Vincent Van Gogh was drinking this when he cut his ear off. Ooh. Some people might think, oh, no, that's just too weird. That's too frightening. But let me tell you, it was so good.